I'm here probably to be the loser. If you have not seen a Don't Cry before, it's like a doll on steroids. This is meant to poke your heartstrings, punch your butthole. I also told the community that I didn't think anything in these videos would be able to make me cry. When I have makeup on, my brain just locks the f up. It like turns into a steel trap of no feelings, at least as far as sadness goes. Okay, but the trick though to crying and not fucking up your makeup, fold a napkin, a paper towel, a tissue like this, drape it over your nose and hold it directly under your eyeballs. And then the tears will fall from your eyeballs onto the tissue or napkin or paper towel. And they will never touch your face. And then no one will ever know that you've been crying. You'll be better off now, Roxas. I cannot believe, I cannot believe that this video would start with 358 over two days. We're opening up with the Xi'an trauma. We're starting with the Xi'an trauma. Not Xi'an, not our baby girl. We're just right out the gate, right out the gate. Okay, that's, you know, if that's how you wanna play this, fine, editors. Fine. I can tango, I can dance. I remember this trauma. As someone who is like the fucking biggest Axel stan, this game was really heartbreaking for that and that alone. You'll be better off now, Roxas. Where's, are we really? <sighs> I cried Emily, at this when I did this. The one who did this to you? No, you can't say that. No. It's not this it's not like that. It was my choice to go away now. Poor Shion is like not an actual person. Imagine figuring out that you're not an actual person. And to do nothing. And let Is he gonna play the whole way. thing? Oh, I've got a glaze, and I don't even really know what's going on fully. <laughs> I only play part of this game! No. In a normal circumstance, I'd be sobbing right now. Yeah, go be part of Sora's heart with all the other people. I need you to do me a favor. You have to remember her, and then he forgets. All hearts that I've captured. It's the music for me. Kingdom hearts. Set them free. That's all I will work for. Kingdom hearts. Forever. That's free. You got it. You got it, baby. I will work through all of it. Uh, it's too late. Shit don't make no fucking sense, but by God does it make you feel something, you know what I'm saying? I need to undo my mistakes. No. But you can't let You were just doing what the organization told you. Hearts. You can't. You can't do it. Goodbye, Roxas. See you again. Soon. I'm glad. Maybe? I got to meet you. Oh, damn, this is, it's the whole thing. Of course, Axel too. My boy! You didn't even say goodbye to him! My best friends. I'm gonna say something to make myself not only feel like a freak uh, and let you know how much of a freak I am, but also to make myself laugh a little bit to feel something that's not the sadness that's in my heart right now. I used to draw so much Axel Roxas fan art. So much. Oof. She takes so long to die, forget. and that makes it so much worse. That's the truth. She got the time to do a full fucking monologue before she dies. <gasps> Dead. No. Sorry. Sheon. Who else will I have ice cream with? I said I wouldn't. I'm already in the <laughs> Oh, I'm so weak. <laughs> We gotta find new friends for ice cream. We'll see you in the next life. You're all part of the great big story. You saved that. I don't know, put it on a necklace, put it in a little shell. I don't know what you do with it, but we're gonna keep it. We're gonna wear it every day. Oh, poor baby. That was rude. Okay, okay. My heart, I didn't even really know that one. It's gonna be really funny for anybody who, <laughs> who knows Kingdom Hearts but didn't play 358 over two because if you didn't play 358 over two, 
even if you did one point, like, like you're, <laughs> it's gonna be really confusing. You're gonna be like, who is that bitch? Where did she come from? What is going on? Call me a heartless, cause my eyes are dry, bitch. <laughs> For real though, it that that part does hurt. It's it's a very very feelsy type of game. It's a soap opera, but also it's a emotional drama that's there to fucking punch you in the heart guts. And Goofy's there too. I don't really wanna be a human anymore. Me I too. Just wanna be a rock sitting on the forest floor. It'd be much I easier. On my way out the door I can relate to this like a or a fairy or a whore I don't want to spend my check on 10 care stuff your teens I'm still mucus serum that will finally make me clean And I don't really want to care about visual weight Want to wear my makeup how I want and very day to day Yes! Do it how you want, baby Climb into your box, choose your style, choose your clothes Are you Get it, girl. Or this is like gonna be my boss, pose this like video No matter what you are we know just what I to do. do by this and that and be unique, but please don't you be you. Just be you. Well, I don't really want to be a human anymore. I just want to be a rock sitting on the forest floor. I'm going to be a mess. <laughs> Every time you write something like this, it always comes from a hurt place. And I always feel so bad. Like, you can tell at the very end of that song, you can tell she feels that way so deeply because she almost cried herself. I'm crying listening to it. The things about you are what make you you. And someone out there, more than just one someone, is gonna love you for exactly who you are. And I know that there are gonna be some days that doesn't feel like that. Um, and it would be much easier to just be a rock on the floor. Be who you wanna be and live the life you wanna live as long as you are not hurting yourself or others. And that's much easier said than done for sure. I get it. I, I literally am on the internet and, and people fucking hate the shit I do all the time and also love the shit I do. But there are people out there who love you, even on days it doesn't feel like it. Um, and I'm really proud of you for being you because there's only one you out there. I think that's my anthem sometimes. Sometimes you just, you don't want to be perceived by people or the world and you just want to be a little rock on the forest floor. Maybe you've got some moss growing over you. That'd be nice. I hate when people ask like, are you goth? Or like any time they ask what I would call my style because it's like, I, it depends on the day, homie. Like, just buy what you like. Wear what you like. Do your makeup how you like. Just clothes are meant to be fun and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It took me until I was like 26 to learn that. But you know what? I'm glad I know it now. Let clothes be fun. Wear whatever the fuck you want. Who cares if it matches? Just as long as you rock it like it's on purpose, it looks good on you, Henny. Get it. It's music. Music really gets you. And then these people write stuff and it comes from their heart. Like their soul. And the thought of a love, baby, I hope, I Damn, this girl is belting. I wasn't expecting her to yell. She's got some pipes. Oh. Get him. I'm sorry that somebody hurt you, baby. Get it, girl. Go, baby. Imagine being the guy that she wrote that about. I bet that dude is fucking quaking right now. Your voice is so pretty. Why is, your voice is so pretty. Also, if you recorded that track, for real, somebody's blasting that in their car, full volume, windows down, like flushing out life. Like all of those inner demons scream through the car windows. That's the song that when you're driving home at night, you're driving home at night and you really need to like let out 
all the feelings. That's that shit that you put on. That was fucking beautiful. Way to turn something that was obviously really impactful and really fucking heartbreak into something wonderful and passionate and powerful. Fuck yes, dude. Get it. Ooh, you guys, you guys might get me, but maybe not. But maybe because this, this stuff, ooh. Whoa! Dear Coach Richard, you have been the greatest coach in my life. I love you, Richard. You help me love football again. Thank you for being my favorite coach, Coach Richard. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! That almost got me. Oh, little kids are so pure and so sweet and so wonderful. Don't ever make them feel like they can't do that. Do not ever make children feel especially the little boys out there feel like they cannot express exactly how they feel and that it's not allowed to cry. My words aren't working the way I want that. Let them be emotional. Let them say how they feel. Dear Coach Richard, you have been the greatest coach in my life. I love you, Richard. You help me love football again. Thank you for being my favorite coach, Coach Richard. This is so sweet. <laughs> that was so sweet. That's... That's just so sweet, the little baby. The little baby loves him so much. Sydney is going to be destroyed. Sydney will not recover from that clip. I'm calling it right now. Dear Coach Richard, you have been the greatest coach in my life. I love you, Richard. Sweet you baby. Football again. Thank you for being my favorite coach, Coach Richard. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> Tiny little angel babies. That coach had to be so good because getting a kid to be patient enough to write a letter, woof, <laughs> woof. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind. Isn't it odd? Yeah. We can only show outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. What's the bravest thing you've ever said? Hope. Asking for help Fuck. isn't giving up. That's a hard it's thing to learn. To give up. These but videos make me cry every time. And they're your strength, not weakness. I think you believe in me more than I do. Life is difficult, but you are loved. Who? Who? <laughs> Am I losing? Okay. <laughs> If life were going stellar, these things never hurt as bad. <laughs> but when you had moments where you have to like reach out to your friends and actually admit to, that you need help, that's a rough day. And I don't think any of us are always brave enough to do that. God knows I'm not brave enough to do that most days. I try to do the power through it, be the strong one, be the rock. And I don't, I don't want to put that burden on somebody. But it is so important to ask for help when you are low and when you need it the most. So please know that even if it sounds scary and maybe that one person didn't want to help, somebody else will. So many people see the word help as a weakness, that asking for help means that you failed or that you're not enough. And that is so fucking not true. Also, what a good answer though. What do you wanna be when you grow up? I feel like we spend so much time focusing on like a career or or some sort of like powerful thing, you know? And, and career is power. Like even if you don't see it that way, that why don't we spend time saying, I wanna be kind, I wanna be loving, I wanna be loved, I wanna be caring. Like why aren't those adjectives we use for what we be when we want to grow up. Existing is fucking hard, but we're all, we are all in the same boat in the end, you know? Like, in the grand scheme of things, we're entirely insignificant. So just like, make the most of what you got, you know? I lost. <laughs> I've been walking this road oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, Fox, baby. Darkness What's happening? How are you not melting in there? I find my way go! I oh God, no! Inside. Oh my God, no! Your little tail! It sparks a fire that helps me fight. He's so cute. No! 
Oh, shit. Oh. He going on unravel trying to save that little fox, and the fox is gonna drown before he gets there. No, no, no. No, no, no. As long as there's still some of you, why are you wrapping around? You went the long way. You didn't need to do that. Oh, my God. You're getting stuck on everything. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, I see. What's he doing? Oh, he's trying to stop him from unraveling. Coming. Oh my god. So brutal. And so wholesome. But so brutal. That's so sad. Shit! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I've been both sides of this. No! Why? He had legs still. Uh, we're gonna get you out. Don't. Are you gonna break through? Through it. Yeah. Bust through that wall. This is rough. What the fuck? Oh, look, they have having fun together. Ah, not them playing together. I love that they live in the sushi restaurant. They're best friends. <laughs> what the fuck, you guys? I was like, there's, there's no video. There's no video that could make me cry on camera. I was so wrong. You get the rope. You get the rope. It's just the string, but he's gonna grab it, right? He's gonna grab it and it's gonna help him. Damn, bitch, okay. You gotta re-knit your friend now. You gotta learn how to knit so you can bring your friend back to life. Yeah. Now rebuild him! We can knit, we'll learn! Are you gathering him up? Can you fix him? Can you gather him up and fix him? Please. <laughs> Why is that fox so thick? <laughs> I got very distracted, I'm sorry. Bitch, I told you. These are like therapy. <laughs> this is another situation in which these are the friendships you hold on to. Both sides were willing to take that burden for the other one and the other one would never allow it. Find those people around you, hold on to them dearly. I want you to think right now who that person is for you and I want you to reach out to them today because I know there's somebody in your life that you would do this for and would do this for you. And if not, you know, come hang out with us because I'll be that for you. Or at least try. Because everyone deserves that. Everyone deserves that level of energy put out towards them to say you're worth it and you should be here. Okay. Okay. What the fuck, you guys? I loved that last one was extremely cute. But you know what I didn't do? Cry. I guarantee you if I watched like most of these clips at like two in the morning with a clean face on my couch alone, I would be a fucking mess. So I, I didn't cry. So uh, I'm sorry to everybody out there that was hoping for that. But holy shit, am I leaving this video feeling so good? That was some fucking good, ugh, some good shit. Well, at least I didn't snot rocket this time. <laughs> oh my god, we actually have tissues on the desk this time. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I was so confident. I was so confident in my ability to be a strong human being. I wonder if any of these made you cry. Say below in the comments. I had such a good time. Follow, like, subscribe. You know the gig. We love you. But anyway, those clips are really wholesome and really sweet. And I don't think I'll ever get put in a don't cry again because I don't think that this is the reaction that anybody wanted out of me. But you know what? I loved them. Regardless, that video was wholesome and I really liked seeing it because a lot of those clips just really like said something about the human experience, you know? Thank you guys for sharing that with me. And you know, even if I didn't cry and maybe the other girls did or, or maybe you did, I hope maybe on days that you're feeling a little down, maybe you come back and watch this video so that we can remind you and these videos from these amazing creators can remind you that, you know, 
there are still some people out there for you and that you're important and that you're valued and that you're loved. I love you guys. I really do. I may not know you. I may not see you. But I see you and I hear you and I love you. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Mm -hmm.